Hey guys, it's uh, Joe here from the Automator with Isaiah. Yes. And someone wrote us and asked uh, if you can use the page up or page down as like a modifier key. And I, I thought it was a really interesting question. So we're going to discuss some of the things about what true modifier keys are and using key combinations. And there's probably a dozen other ways you could accomplish this as well. But um, yeah, there is a list of clearly, and you want to pull it up, uh, the modifier keys within AutoHotKey. So like the yes. Windows key and shift and control and Windows. Actually, I think the Windows key... If I remember right, it may not be listed. It was like, it was something slightly different about it. Um, yeah. It is, it is. You have the Windows key right here as a modifier, of course. Um, basically, why don't they list, that's the left and right. They uh, they, well, um, the thing is that you could, in their, in their way, so you have it for everybody else, like L-Shift, R-Shift, and the shift itself, which works as both at the same time. But the Windows modifier key, it's not like the same it's, for it's both, it's right? Fine. It is a little bit different, right? Um, and actually they tell you, like there's no generic neutral wiki because the OS does not support it, okay? So they tell you that it is like that. Um, yeah, interesting. But it is not because of AutoHotKey, it is because of the operating system. It actually treats both as separate entities. Now- uh, <laughs> You know, I do want to point out what you mentioned is uh, which most of us probably don't do, but you can tie one specifically to the left control or right control or left shift or yes. right shift, which yes. doubles you know the amount of modifier keys you can have. So it's a That's separate right. key. Right? That's right. So now, now uh, most of the people might uh, think about this, like why would I need that many things? Now, let me give you an example of what is going on. Um, in my case, uh, you, you guys know that I code with VS Code, and a lot of people do, right? Now, VS Code has so many commands, like so many of them, that one keyboard is not enough. Now, they have kind of like a modifier key string, control K, that kind of switches the keyboard to another set of hotkeys. You see, that's, that's the idea, right? Now, on the real life, for example, I could use modifier keys to switch my keyboard into different modes. One of them is a mode that allows me to open apps. Like for example, if I press the, the left window key, now whatever letter I press is gonna open an app. Windows Z is gonna open Zoom. Windows uh, C is gonna open Chrome. Windows F is gonna open Firefox, right? But I could use now the write windows, not to open apps, but to actually run scripts. Now, if I press the, the right side, Windows Z, now it's gonna open my script that does something with Zoom. And the right side, Windows C, now opens a script that does something with Chrome. So you could actually divide it into kind of like logical sections, right? That's that's one of the, the the cool things that you can do with this. And from someone who does a lot of this kind of stuff, create a pattern before you start assigning them because when you have a clear pattern, it, it helps so much you remember what you're doing because otherwise it just becomes really... I, yeah. I have hundreds of hotkeys to launch things and do stuff. And, and it, without that pattern, like... I, 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 I You know what? I, I, every time that I'm working with you and sometimes you let me like control and so on, right. and I'm just typing right. and just from the sun, something happens like, what happened? What that? And you're oh, yeah. like, 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 yeah, that's a hotkey that I have in there, right? So it is funny. Um <laughs> <laughs> you know your pattern, right? But for right. people who don't know it, right? It's going to be a mess. Now, one thing that I do want to point out, um, the funny thing about these guys here, and they are all together for a reason. So we have the function keys, the modifier keys, the multimedia keys, and other keys, right? Um, these modifier keys, the cool thing about them is that they don't send anything to the OS. Mm -hmm. So um, in our hotkey, uh, basically you know that you can create hotkeys uh, by doing very simple uh, assigning uh, such as A, and then you put a message box, for example, and that would automatically, uh, whenever you press the letter A on your keyboard, it's gonna just go ahead and do something, right? now. Um, you can use 
other keys as kind of modifier keys or kind of like string them together yeah, right. in such a way that you can, for example, F and A, that would, this message box would only show up if you press those two key together. So now you're using kind of like F and A kind of in a way that <laughs> the F kind of acts as a modifier key because if you press the A by itself, right? you nothing is going to happen. So the A is going to work fine. The F, and that's the funny thing, is not going to work out. Why? Because the F part of, are you coding it? Because we don't, we, we see the help menu at the moment. Oh, really? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no. I think now you can see it, right? Here we go. Yep. All right. There we go. So um, the F and A kind of syntax allows me to use the F as a modifier key in, you know, as a modifier key, because the A by itself does nothing. But if I press F first and then the A, then I get the message box. But that has a little issue, which is that we lose the functionality of the letter F. And I'm pressing it on the keyboard and nothing happens because now the OS is actually taking that key and waiting for something else, right? Now, there is a workaround on this, which is that you can use the tilde to kind of tell um, auto hotkey that send you, you should send that letter to the OS anyways, right? I'm not going to block it. So um, now if you tell auto hotkey to, with the tilde, don't block that letter, send it to the OS. It can be used and the letter A as well. But when you press them both together, you get the message box. Now that creates a small issue. And as you can see, the F was sent right? That's why most of the times, if you want to do this combination of keys, it's better to use either a function key that they don't do anything on their own. And actually they change depending on the program you're in, right? Um, the modifier keys that they don't send any command at all, they are just used and they are generally as accepted as something that don't do anything in your program. So if you are in Zoom and you just press the old key by itself, nothing happens because that key has no assigned function by itself. You know, the, the one thing that um, annoys me, and I know there's a little bit more to go on this, but it is, con I can see how people new to this are confused because the modifier keys you you put them in there right next to the next key you're doing versus the, what we're describing is use the ampersand to say this and that. And, right. and it's like, you know what? Why not have done the modifier keys the same way? And then it's the same across the board, right? But um, that is a little confusing, I think, for people when they're not used to it. Very interesting point. I have never thought of that. And, and, and maybe because for me, it's very intuitive that the modifier keys are something very different than the normal keys. So when you have a key that sends something, I want to tell auto hot key, you know, I want to use those two things in a way that is not the normal way, right? But a modifier key for me is something that I absolutely do not think about. And for that reason, it's like, it doesn't send anything. For me, it, it was kind of like logical. Now that you mention it, now I think like why the difference in, in that, but, but I never thought of that. Um, maybe because of that little detail of modifier keys don't send any information with them. That's okay. why. And that's what I was going to say was the, you know, I use, as I mentioned, the, the caps lock. Um, I use the apps key, it, you know, as two that they're not modifier keys, right? So you don't do them on line five here with just right next to it. You do it on line one, use the ampersand yes. to connect them. So, so that would be, yeah. So that would be like return. So you caps lock, yeah. for example, like this. Yeah, right. Spot on, right. And, and I find that, really, and, and I never, hadn't really thought about it. I hadn't pinned it down, but those are great because you're not sending... Key. I don't care the caps. I want the caps lock key not to be pressed when I'm doing this, right? <laughs> exactly. So, 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 yeah. So, so, and this is the funny thing. Um, caps lock and, for example, the print screen on the keyboard, 
by definition, they do send something. You know, but the only thing is that they don't affect the, the OS. That's what happens. Right. You know what's funny is I actually, in my main script, I disable using hotkeys. Uh, um, I disable the insert, both the insert key and then what is it like control O or something? And the, uh -huh. no, because I literally go not like well, I won't realize that's on and I start typing over. Oh my, my God. Screen. Yes. When you have insert on and you start typing yeah. and everything is getting. Yeah. So I'm like, I never want to use this thing. Like, why is this <laughs> thing? Right. So what, um, what I didn't realize, though, was this is brilliant, is I could actually change that to use insert as a modifier key, because I don't, it's a perfect way, actually, I just got a new modifier key, right? Because instead of disabling it, I can use it in conjunction with other stuff, because right. I don't care it doesn't get sent. Exactly. So if there are some things that you don't care, like, for example, the scroll lock, I have, you know, I have never used scroll lock in my whole life on purpose now, yeah like, it's, it's by accident and then you find right. out and you're like crap exactly in that case yeah. you might want to use that because you don't use it that that often now normally what i would say is um function keys if it is inside your app for example if, if yep. you're creating an app inside your app you can use the function keys for whatever you want. But the problem is if you use them in a global setting, what is mm -hmm. going to happen is that if you go to another app and you modify the F12, mm -hmm. now the F12 that was supposed to do something in that program doesn't do it. For example, F12 in Chrome opens the, the, the developer pattern, right? Now, if your app modifies the F12 globally, you get that issue that now in Chrome F12 is not going to work out, right? Unless you use, as we mentioned, the tilde here to send the F12 to it, right? Exactly. So that's the beauty of modifier keys and by extension, the multimedia keys, right? Usually on the keyboard, you have these buttons that are multimedia that people, I, myself, I don't use it that often. Yeah, um, I, I have them at the top of my keyboard, which I've shown before, but the, um, across the top here these right you have these are, buttons yeah, some right of those are great yes um for example to 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 um pause the music play the music right. volume very quickly but right next to it on the left i have these go back go forward and search button that i almost never use because i use alt left and alt right i don't want to go to the top of my keyboard to do that those four buttons I could use them very well right. to, for, other things. Yeah. for other things. And in Auto Hotkey, you have browser back, browser right. forward, which are there on my keyboard, right. which is awesome, you see? And I could use them as modifier keys or as toggles. And that's what I usually do. I use one of those, I press it, and that toggles my whole keyboard to set a bunch of hotkeys that as soon as I press them, they're gonna do whatever I was supposed to do. And when I press it again, it disables that hot, those hotkeys. So it is it is something very interesting that, that allows you to have like 10 keyboards at once, technically. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, awesome. Well, I, I think that's a good, like I said, you, you know, I was trying to read up on this and it, it just to me, the documentation, it's, it, it's a lot to digest, especially if you're new. It doesn't quite make a lot of sense, but I think talking it through really helps people understand the differences between them and how to use them and, right. and your options, right? Then, your, by the way, go show that, go back to your editor and, and show how with the, uh, when you do the like F and A or whatever you want, remember your idea of sending the backspace? You know, right. if, if you did okay. want to take this yeah. So basically, um, what I was saying is like usually, um, again, if I'm sending the key, now I have an F that has been sent, right? So I have an F that has been sent. And if I press the A, so I have FA, I do get my message box, but my F was sent. And that might not be desired. Now, sometimes what you can do probably is just send a backspace. And that would technically delete the F that you just sent. So basically, you remove the F manually. Um, you get your message box. Um, in some situations, you can actually just do undo whatever you just did. So if you send 
a, a, a page up, then send a page down. If you send a page down, send a page up. Um, and, and, and that would kind of like negate whatever happened in the first key, but that's a workaround. That's and, a hack. And just case in point, because we played with this a little, it real that what's on line three, what's after really, yes. that's what really dictates what you do to fix it. Because if you instantly activate something else or switch, right. something, it may not right. be active. So you might no, want so, to yeah. activate it first before you send the thing. So the first oh, thing you have to do is deactivate, right? Yeah. But but again, we this could be done if you really wanted to do it, was was the point. Like you, if you really want to take the time, if you really want a hotkey to be F and A, then go ahead and do that. Or, and this is just very a quick way to fix it, a workaround, but there are some other ways for you to catch that F. You can catch the the key before it's pressed and actually you can use the the modifiers f down and f up just to catch the key when it is being pressed down so that it's not being sent you can do those things it's a little bit more work but it's technically possible if you really want to do that <laughs> yeah all right okay. good thank you we're gonna be talking later